What's up guys welcome back to another day at see you hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and uh, I have been getting a lot of requests to make a video regarding how to join Merchant Navy so I did my research and before you quote me or claim me I would suggest always do your research on the internet Google our best friend as everything check out all the websites I'll put a link I'll put the link to websites uh, which are which are you know useful and um, today we'll be talking about how to join uh, Merchant Navy as an officer so there are three ways to do it uh, one is through DNS diploma nautical science second is uh, BSc that is bachelor in nautical science which I did and the third is uh, BTEC in marine engineering so uh, we'll talk about it in sections so uh, let's start so uh, I made some notes I did my research uh, and uh, let's start with the diploma in nautical science so it's a one year course and uh, it will be divided into two semesters six months six months each and then you have to do 18 months sea time which is uh, given by the company so that is why uh, being sponsored is really important for doing the DNS program then uh, so some companies they require more uh, sea time but that's good you will gain a good experience for from the sea time and it's much better to sail than to just uh, sit on land and studies because you know studies are a bit uh, uh, boring I would say so uh, let's start with the criteria, educational criteria. So uh, you must be uh, having PCM in your 10 plus 2 and uh, the minimum uh, should be 65% in PCM and an aggregate of total 60%. Then uh, there's another way, the other ways that suppose you've done a degree like BSc in physics, maths, chemistry, so or electronics with physics. So you should have uh, not less than 60% marks in the final year and it should be recognized university so make sure it's not just uh, XYZ university with no recognition. Next is BE, BTEC uh, if you've done that then again same thing 60% no less than that and um, yeah it should be from a I AICTE or UGC approved uh, uh, college and uh, provided you, have, you must have done 10 plus 2 uh, with PCM with a recognized board and uh, not less than 60% marks in total PCM. Then next is we have age limit. So uh, minimum age is 17 years and maximum is 25 years. So there's a rel relaxation for girls which is for 2 years and for sch scheduled caste and scheduled tribe it's uh, SCST that is 5 years uh, can be compensated. Then very important English. So English uh, you should have more than 60% marks in 10 or 12 uh, from a uh, recognized board or university and yeah next we start with the physical and medical standards so 6 by 6 in both the eyes and please if you are colorblind you cannot join Mochi Navy so you can uh, do a test of uh, yourself on Google just type uh, colorblindness test and you can see so uh, you will get to know about it more then uh, also uh, there are particular medical criteria which you can find on DG Shipping website I'll put a link in the description so guys there is an IMU CET test conducted by the Indian Maritime University and it is mandatory. Do not join any college which does not conduct IMU CET and uh, never join a college which uh, takes you with, with uh, you know if you have less than 60% PCM because no uh, the companies won't come there and there will be no placement so you will be stuck you will just waste your money and then you will be just hanging around. I know a lot of people who got stuck like this so please I request you do not join a college which, which takes PCM less than 60% and does not have IMU then um, you have to qualify the entrance test and uh, details will be in the IMU website I'll put the link in the description you should be unmarried candidate and uh, never do a DNS without sponsorship sponsorship is basically you give uh, company specific exams before you can before you go for your DNS program so that you know the company will provide you with the 18 months uh, C time as required for the degree and uh, never pay uh, anyone for sponsorship only pay for fees uh, of the college and the application forms so uh, be aware of that some good colleges I know of are Anglo, Anglo Eastern Maritime Academy, Tulani, ARI, Delhi, IMI, Noida and TS Raman but uh, do your research there must, must be more because I've, it's been long time since I uh, uh, did all this so uh, that is what I did my research so that is what I found good and um, join reputed companies always you can check the standard of the companies from the DG website which is the link is again in the description and also the best way is to you know uh, consult the pass out from the college the exact placement ratio and all of that so they will tell you the reality ground realities so next we move on to BSc in nautical science which I did and uh, it was good uh, I did actually BTEC nautical technology from Tulani because that time it was with uh, affiliated with BITS Pilani but now it's just IMU so let's start 
so uh, it's a three years on short program divided into six semesters and the next one is uh, 12 months at sea which can be split into six and six but some co uh, some companies they want 18 months sea time so it all depends on the company then eligibility criteria is the same as dns you should have pcm at least 60 percent and and english 50 percent in 10th or 12th then uh, medical standard same as dns eyesight 6x6 candidate should not be having a uh, night blindness or color blindness so you can check up check up on that on google then also the there are standard medical uh, uh, requirements which are uh, given by imu in their website so uh, please check it out so a candidate should be unmarried and uh, do always do a bsc course from a reputed college and you know uh, with a, which has a high placement record because uh, there are many colleges which just uh, take which are not affiliated to IMU and they uh, give uh, admission and then you won't be having placement so you'll uh, get stuck that's why this profession is a bit risky with regards to the education qualifications first then uh, age criteria same 17 to 25 years and um, uh, please note that some colleges have a different uh, age criteria which can be uh, you know uh, decided by them and uh, the main age criteria is fixed by the IMU but college affiliated to IMU can uh, you know have the right to change the criteria uh, with uh, you know respect to 12 marks and age so uh, uh, do check the websites before joining any college for their particular criteria also uh, colleges will have their own exams Some, uh, for example Tulani it has its TMI SATs which I also give so based on that they give you admissions but some colleges they give admission on the basis of 12th marks or uh, or uh, the IMU on the basis of 12th marks and IMU uh, ranks then um, before joining any college like I said talk to the pass outs of that college find them on Facebook Instagram and uh, talk about the routine and all of the placements past placement records then um, best colleges for which I think are good are Tolani then IMU campuses uh, you can check on the website and TSMR also guys it's a humble request do not join XYZ colleges without doing a research you know there are some colleges will take which will take the fees and then make you do all the trainings for three years and then after that bye bye no placement so you'll be stuck that is why this industry is get, getting you know a bad name because you know there are surplus candidates which are doing uh, you know from xyz colleges which do not provide placements and then uh, they are stuck spending so much money and then they go to agents and agents are absolutely bullshit guys they they do not care and they will just take money from you and then you'll be stuck so please it's my humble request do your do your research and uh, always join a good college with good pl uh, placement records if you cannot join due to your uh, criteria as being not matched do something else because you'll be stuck here and you'll waste a lot of money so guys let's move on to the engineering side so uh, before i start don't get confused between btech mechanical engineering and the gme course they are two different things btech mechanical engineering is done with the uh, after 12th and there's another uh, way of it which is a lateral entry after uh, you join second uh, in the second year of the course uh, if you have a diploma in mechanical engineering or marine engineering so let's start with the criteria so uh, it's a four year program and uh, it's affi affiliated to IMU and everything is IMU like I keep saying now so uh, it is recognized and approved by DG shipping and AICT so uh, Tolani had uh, the criteria like you do three and a half years on land and one uh, half a year at sea but some colleges they do four years on land and then you join as a junior engineer for six months uh, depending on the company so uh, that's uh, one way to go about it and uh, I don't know now how it is because like I said like I said it's been long since I did all of this um, yeah so eligibility is 10 plus 2 uh, PCM 60 percent and uh, minimum 50 percent marks in English in either 10th or 12th then so age limit again 25 not exceeding that on the date of commencement of uh, training but subject to DG shipping's uh, guidelines as applicable then medical fitness eyesight should be 6 by 6 but power is allowed which is permitted to plus minus 2.5 and uh, you should not be colorblind again if you're colorblind you cannot join the merchant navy then uh, medical examination same criteria as the rest and you can find the criteria in the IMU website so glasses are only allowed in the in engine side then uh, every candidate must clear the IMU CT examination and based on your uh, rank you will be given uh, various colleges then uh, let's go to the lateral entry scheme which I was talking about lateral entry scheme is basically 
you join the college in second year but the requirements are such that uh, you should be having a diploma course in mechanical engineering or marine engineering with at least 60% marks overall and uh, you should have completed a diploma within the stipulated period of 3 years then uh, also 50% marks in english that's standard and age limit is 18 to 26 years at the time of commencement of the course then place placements in marine engineering sites are much easier as compared to the deck side and uh, you should have good marks and uh, keep performing well and um, what do you call that uh, uh, you should clear all your examinations in the first attempt in all semesters so uh, that way it's a show sh short uh, placement guaranteed and then you'll be good to go some best colleges i think are tolani then imu kolkata that is dmet kolkata and some other imu campuses but again do your research some colleges are good some colleges are bad like i said don't get don't fall into the trap of the xyz colleges which just uh, give you uh, uh, which just take admission and then you are stuck there without placement uh, that's why i keep saying do your research Third, placements for bsc and btech will be conducted on uh, campus so the company generally start coming in the second year like uh, for me it came in my second year most clients so i uh, opted for this and then joined and a few good companies i know of which will uh, which come are nyk musk scorpio tom these norwegian companies like stena chevron then shell british petroleum and uh, scorpio yeah these are a few uh, which i know are good but there are many other good companies uh, which uh, you'll have to do research about so guys before we conclude the video let me make it clear uh, do your research on the websites on google email the companies talk to seniors you know who uh, get some good insights so uh, i did my research i can be wrong as well. don't fall into the trap of agents i i know a lot of people uh, who have fallen into that trap and uh, that's the end of their career not even started yet that's why this profession gets a bad name uh, otherwise this profession is good if you are uh, really keen on making money and you know doing something different this is where you are very welcome to join this profession the pros and cons of this i have already uploaded the video so do check it out and uh, so i'll be making another video of uh, the gme course the eto course and the gp ratings course uh, in the near future so um, i wish you guys all the best and uh, people who want to uh, join the merchant navy are always welcome and there's always negativity around so let's spread some positivity by doing things in the right manner by gaining knowledge doing the research so i hope you guys like the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you back in another video at another day at sea thank you